All right, well, welcome back to the shop. Uh, I'm sitting on a stack of boxes here. This is my new drum sander. I purchased a 1938 uh, by Supermax. That's a 19 inch wide, 38 inch, uh, if you flip the piece over and do half at a time. So uh, I just got to the point, I've wanted a drum sander for a long time, but I was worried about setup issues and, and the price, obviously. But uh, a pretty good recommendation for this uh, this model so I purchased it and we're gonna put it together so here's the unboxing of the Supermax 1938 drum sander watch the unboxing All right. <clears throat> well here's a couple things so this box is the stand I believe Uh, I don't know what this box is. We'll find out. It'll be exciting. This is sandpaper. 150 grit, three wraps of uh, sand, extra sandpaper. This, I think, is the stand. Oh, no, these are infeed outfeed tables. That was an add on. <coughs> this is the stand, so that must just be the. I don't know. Something. This side is way heavier with the motor, so you got to make sure it doesn't tip or anything. But uh, now I can get it, looks like the wood is screwed on from underneath somehow, so I couldn't really get to it sitting in the box. So I'm going to lift this thing up, take off the, the wood on the bottom, and then, uh, then follow along with the directions. Now, if you're trying to do this alone and you don't have something badass like this thing, get another person, get other people. I would actually maybe recommend just getting it onto some kind of a bench something that's a little bit higher off the ground get it up there tip it get the the wood off but just make sure this thing's heavy it's 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 not really any, you know no joke really no joke get some help or get some awesome tools now i'm going to go up with this thing Couple nuts down there. Probably some lag bolts, I'm guessing. <clears throat> Nine sixteenths. Here's a quick tip. If you don't if you're like me and don't enjoy hand wrenching things. Get one of these things. You can get them at Home Depot. It'll hold a socket for your impact wrench or drill. And then you got power. Just like that. Okay. I'm thinking you probably need these. They're not lag bolts, they're just bolted into threads underneath the, the physical machine base. I'm gonna keep these because I have a feeling that's what we mount the, that's how we connect it to the stand. Get out of the way. 
Okay? Easy enough? Yeah. You, you need to reuse those bolts when you put it on there. Which actually, I'm going to put it on the stand right now. That's what they tell you to do. No problem. <laughs> Whoa, we've got IntelliSand. Whoa. One thing to look at, I mentioned keeping the fast lever up, which I think this is the fast lever. Make sure that's up when you, before you tighten these bolts. <clears throat> Alright, well, there you have it. Uh, I'll probably do a full walkthrough of the thing. I just wanted to kind of do an unboxing and show you what's going on. So see what came in the boxes, how it came. Uh, in the next video I'll probably get a little bit more in depth about what I think about it, how the process went and talk a little bit more. But first, my first thoughts about this machine, man, this thing is seriously heavy duty. Because I'd never even seen one in a, a showroom before I bought it. So this is the first time I'm seeing it in person um man i mean everything's heavy duty you know like cast iron and i mean this arm thing is it's gonna take a lot for this thing to start leaning i know that's one of the that was one of the problems i had with this open end stuff is there's a lot of pressure if with that thing hanging down cantilevered so uh, i'm pretty happy with this uh but one thing that also helps is it's the weight is offset with the motor, so that's not too bad. But uh, so far, everything is a uh, nice fit and finish. Uh, seems well made, so we'll uh, get get a little bit deeper into it next time. <laughs>